Hello, daydreamers. In this fantastic episode of Logo Face Swap, I, Michael Masters, a Michigan based graphic designer, will show you what it would look like if these two major tech companies decided to redesign their logo using the branding elements of their competitors. It all started on a blistering cold weekend in February. Let's start with the old HP logo. I'll create some guides here. These ones have to be rotated. Maybe we can use these objects to help us with spacing later. I'll select all these lines and hit Control-5 to create guides. This first letter is going to be an I. We'll finish that later. Now let's create the B. Round off the edges. Slide it over. Okay, and now for the M. I'm gonna cut out these spaces here using Pathfinder. Now I'll extend the leg of the M to match the P. Now that these letter forms are standing here in front of me, I started to struggle a bit with this wide pill shape. It seems like a perfect circle would be a better choice, which actually is more in line with HP's current logo. So I'm gonna pivot and make a slight adjustment to my design concept. I'll extend these legs to the outside of the circle. Finally finish off that lowercase i, put some color in, and voila! We have IBM wearing the face of HP. Hello, it's Michael. Going to do my logo? Yeah, I was, I was just getting ready to. Way better. <laughs> okay. Get to it. All right. Is it coming? Stand by. It's coming. Yeah. All right, bye-bye. That was HP on the phone. They want me to swab their face with IBM, so let's go do that now. First thing I'll do is create these horizontal guides. These shapes will, might help me with letter size and spacing. Using the rectangle tool, I'll start creating the H. I'll copy this shape with the same spacing three more times. There's a keyboard shortcut for that. Do you know what it is? Comment below if you do. Okay, I'll copy this over, extend this. Now let's use the B to come up with the letter P. I'm gonna use Pathfinder to intersect this group of shapes. Here we go. We'll give it some color. So I'm looking at this, I think the top of the P could be a little wider to balance out the composition a bit more. We're gonna add a curve to this little horizontal bar here. A couple more adjustments. And there we go. My friends, I hope you enjoyed swapping these two logo faces. I also wanted to make an announcement. I've just opened up a Teespring account and have added a bunch of products on there, including this t-shirt I'm wearing here. If you'd like to support the channel, I'd ask you to please click the link in the description. If you wanna join the tribe, please click subscribe. If you like this video, please do click that thumbs up. And remember, if you've discovered work you love doing that people need and you're good at it, you're gonna look forward to Monday. We'll see you next time. Still here? <laughs> Might as well check out this other video.